Good morning guys, welcome back to the shop. This is Jim. Here's another RV10 update. Yesterday I got these uh, stiffeners, doublers installed there for the uh, gas strut that holds the door open, the uh, lift assist. And uh, on this one I had to flute it a little bit. It really didn't match the curve of the door very well, so I fluted it a little bit just to, to help it straighten out a little bit. And uh, that worked. I used uh, West Systems Epoxy. I'll show you that here in a second as I walk over to the, the bench. But uh, you paste on a, you thicken it and then you paste on a, a thin 16th to 8th inch layer of goop. I put some on both parts and then uh, you click it down in the two center holes according to the plans. And uh, so now today I'm going to drill out the, the glue out of the holes and uh, getting pretty close to uh, gluing the door halves together. So you got the inner and outer shell. Come over here and show you the products that I'm using for uh, fiberglass, the West Systems. This is the uh, thickener. Um, they, uh, Vans calls this cabocil, and I'm not entirely sure that's what it is, but according to West, uh, that's the product you should use. There's another one I have, and I don't see it sitting here. There it is, it's the 410. And it's a, a fairing filler is what they call it, and so it, it would be more like just a surface uh, Bondo thing is what I would call it, but it's for designed for this fiberglass. Here's the uh, here's the resin, and uh, and then the hardeners, and the hardeners come in a slow and a fast. So there's I'm about to take the lid off of that. I'll try and soak that, see if I can clean that up, because I haven't done fiberglass in a long while, so these things get kind of dried out and hard to use. Here's the other door. And same thing there. Um, this uh, I made a video the other day and uh, it turned out sideways, so I deleted it. But uh, there's some little filler things that get uh, wetted up and then uh, glued in place. So you put one of them there on the elbow cavity and then up here on the cranial cavity when you glue the two inner and outer shells together. Then they get glued together uh, along all the surfaces here that you see that look sanded or lighter color pink and uh, Clico together while the glue sets up for the epoxy. Um, I also asked the other day on the, the video that I deleted, um, are you guys seeing ads? I have not monetized the channel. I'm over a thousand subscribers now and I don't follow YouTube well enough to know if they've changed things recently, but uh, um, I'm not monetized, so if they're putting ads on there, I was curious. I don't know that there's anything I can do about it, but uh, let me know. I don't see them when I uh, review the videos, but that doesn't say much, I guess. Um, that's it for today. Um, let me know if you want to see, see a different format. I, I would like to do actual construction stuff, but it's kind of hard for me to set up. But if there's things that uh, you want to see, um, I can try and do that too. Um, I do most of this just for my own benefit to uh, kind of log the progress and uh, help keep me out in the shop and motivated. So, But uh, let me know. Uh, glad to have you guys come along for the ride. See you next time.